So fellas, despite all the reviews you've seen, and we've seen a bunch of them, I put out a bunch of them on Claymore as well as Broadsword, on how good of a PvP weapon it can be in the right hands. I want to talk about a PvE god role, Redrick's Broadsword. Now something I've always been a fan of when it comes to Destiny is loading up into a PvE encounter, gaining that PvE loot, and then suddenly realize, wow, this is a dominant weapon in Crucible. Now it's not often that we pick up PvP weapons that are dominant in PvE. So guys, in today's video, this is my PvE God Roll, Redrick's Bronzor. Now, for those that don't know how to obtain this weapon, in the description, guys, are all of the quest steps. Feel free to take a look at them. So right off the bat, guys, let me show you what I'm working with. The barrel perk here is Hammer Forge Rifling. Not the most ideal perk. I would definitely have rather had Arrowhead Break. But for some unknown reason, the magazine perk on this thing took forever to obtain, which is Extended Mag. Now, Extended Mag throws that magazine size up from 27 to 37. Now, in Season 3, I didn't really use Claymore much in PvE because of that mag size. Despite how good Desperado is, allowing you to up that rate of fire essentially around 540 to 600, you just ran out of ammo way too quickly. Before you know it, you were just reloading all the time. But here with Extended Mag, you're throwing that mag size up to 37 but the cherry on top is backup mag which is the weapon mod that we apply here that increases the magazine which gives redrick's broadsword a magazine size of 45 45 boys now i think desperado lasts somewhere around eight seconds but desperado's length of time was never a problem for me no the thing that became an issue was the fact that i was always catching myself reloading and not actually dealing damage so is redrick's a weapon i would take up in the p Actually, I was using it all day during the raid, specifically in those encounters that broke into these mid-range engagements. I think my power level here is under level by almost 21 power levels, meaning I'm at a significant disadvantage. Broadsword here was still putting in work, especially on those majors. So guys, I think Broadsword, we, we really touched up and approached it as a PvP weapon only. And I'm here to tell PvE guys, even if you don't like Crucible, and I'm not saying you should get this tomorrow, I'm not saying you should grind this out now, but hit those double XP weekends for Valor, maybe those triple XP weekends, because those are gonna come up too. Get your resets in, and then afterwards, farm you up a roll with Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, possibly a Stability or Reload Masterwork here. If you can handle the recoil, I would definitely go with Reload, just to add a little extra reload speed, and apply that Backup Mag perk. And you're essentially looking at one of the best PvE weapons in that kinetic slot. Well boys, that is probably going to be my final review for Redrick's Broadsword. I kind of wanted to cover both angles. The other day I didn't have the role that I wanted to play with in PvE. Shout out to whoever was in my YouTube comment section that actually recommended this role. So fellas, thank you so much for coming and watching, and as always. We're actually going to be putting out build videos for the rest of this week. And I'm thinking about instead of just having a top 10 overall best builds, we're going to go ahead and break it down by class. So I'll do like top five Titan builds or top 500 builds. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out because what's currently happening is there's just so many damn good builds, which is wonderful. That's what you want. So guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I definitely read them. Just like this God roll here, I didn't even know existed until someone mentioned it the other day. So thank you guys very much for your continuous feedback. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Yo, yo, yo.